Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Bringing you guys a game of Conquest today on that Laguna Presa using the uh, VSS here with the uh, extra C4 pouches and Magnum ammo. And uh, this is a game from about a week ago and uh, I actually tried yesterday to play and uh, to get you guys a better gameplay because I told you guys I had a VSS game I was like I want to get a better one but uh, that didn't end up working out and pretty much yesterday just had like a really I don't know it was like an unlucky day for the battle and uh, just getting in the really weird lobbies with people playing like douchebags and uh, a lot of lag for some reason and the only lobby I got in yesterday where it was a good connection the whole other fucking team quit so you know uh, that's how it goes but uh, people wanted to see this game so I figured I would be I'd post it. <laughs> right there I kind of fucked up. I should have shot the guy who was looking at me instead of shooting the guy who wasn't looking at me. But, you know, it, it happens. It happens. No, I forgot to edit out my desk, but whatever. Who cares? And um, But, yeah, uh, using the VSS here with the regular scope, and uh, I don't use it with the ammo upgrade. I usually run it with lightweight or extra C4 pouches. Just because uh, I don't plan to live that long. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but it happens. And, you know, I, I usually always play with teammates and stuff. So ammo is usually not a problem. And if it is, I'll just uh, kill an assault, pick up his kit, and throw it out an ammo box. Because uh, one bad thing about using this gun is it can burn through ammo quite quickly. But uh, if you know how to use it pretty good, you could, uh, I don't know, conserve it pretty well. And uh, pretty much the trick to this gun right here is only letting off two round bursts and if you do that it's fucking a super beast of a gun see right here just two round bursts if you notice every time if you look at my ammo it, all, it goes down by two every time and you kinda gotta get used to just uh, how you gotta push the trigger in and what not to do that but if you do that you're you're golden with this gun, uh, letting out a three round burst is a bad idea. Your third shot won't even go anywhere near on target. And uh, right there, hip fire that guy. And uh, even when I hip fire, I tap fire it. Unless they're right in front of me, then, uh, you know, go full auto. But uh, I see right there, just two round burst real quick. Rat, rat, rat. Take people out pretty fucking easily. And um, usually, I usually like to aim for their, like, upper chest because then the recoil will send the second shot into their face and uh, I kill people real quick and uh, I believe this gun's a two shot headshot at any range so uh, you know that's always a good thing and right here I'm trying to capture A by myself and then instead of like camping the flag and not moving I like to run around it like this but unfortunately it doesn't work out for me right there and uh, I kind of just got surrounded from all angles you know Died trying to capture the flag by myself and whatnot, and uh, was playing with friends here, but uh, they weren't in my squad. Their squad was full, so you know, I was kind of playing with these uh, random guys right here. Just spawn off this guy and instantly die. Always hate it when that happens. I'm sure you guys hate when that happens too, because <laughs> uh, I don't know that shit like that is just frustrating and whatnot. But what are you gonna do? And uh, just trying to spawn back in. And recapture this A flag because uh, these guys on the other team were real fighting for the flags, which is fun, and uh, that's why I like I like the f the th three flag maps that aren't in a straight line better than the ones that are in the straight line. I, I don't know. I, I just find it more fun. I, you run around more. You got to be a little bit more aware of your surroundings because they can come from you from more angles and stuff than uh, the flags that are in the straight line. Right there, I kind of hit that guy. I wasn't leading him enough kind of just had my crush hit right over him and uh, I should have been leading him but whatever what are you gonna do and <laughs> shot a bullet in that guy but I'm just waiting for him to come around the corner and there he is and take him out really easily but uh yeah and uh this gun right here I believe will be re uh making a return in Battlefield 3 but it will be an assault gun which uh I, I think it's pretty cool because then I'll be able to use it with the iron sights and uh you know, that'd be cool. I'm pretty sure this gun's in Battlefield 3. <laughs> pretty sure. Not 100%, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be in Battlefield 3 in, a, in the assault category. Last time I checked, I remember seeing it in there. and uh, It would be fun. 
<laughs> to use because then I could use it with iron sights but they also let you put like scopes and shit on like every gun just about like I remember watching one of the leaked alpha videos and he had like a AK-74U with uh, like a sniper scope on it so uh, I don't know I'm, I'm definitely going to be running stupid classes like that when Battlefield 3 comes out and uh, it'll, it'll be fun oh, I, I wonder if I can run the sniper scope on the shotgun now it'll be pretty funny even with the buckshot I'll still run it just for shits and giggles might be a good time, might piss people off getting killed by stupid setups, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, one thing I learned from Battlefield is that you could get away with running the most obnoxious, retarded setups in the game. Just because this game's actually pretty balanced, if you look at it. And, you know, when it first came out, it, was, it wasn't it was exactly balanced as far as the weapons go. But they tweaked them so many times, and uh, now, now I've... I feel that they're balanced. The auto shotties are a little ridiculous sometimes. How they could just one shot you out of nowhere. I, I don't think the auto shotty should be able to one shot you in any circumstance. And, uh, because that's what the pumps are for. And when you got the auto shotguns that can one shot kill, it's like, what the fuck's the point of the pump shotties? But, you know, that's just me and how I, how I feel about it. And, um, hopefully in Battlefield 3 it'll be like two shot. Unless you're like pointing the barrel at their face or something like that and I, I guess I could understand and getting a one shot from that but you know I it seems like I get one shotted by the Sega and the USAS and they're like they're at a at a distance where I shouldn't be getting one shotted but you know that's how it goes and uh hop in my buddy's tank right now they're in the other squad just to capture the flags good cover just you know sitting in the tank <laughs> looking up there on the hill People love camping on that hill for whatever reason. And, uh, ooh, excuse me. A little bit of burps is there. But, uh, yeah, I really like the VSS, though. It's one of the few guns you could get away with uh, without using Magnum ammo. And I used to actually really like using this kit with body armor, except the only problem with that is, like, uh, well, basically this gun right here is a four-hit four kill up close, five at range without Magnum ammo. So you'll get them at that distance where it'll be a five shot kill but just barely and they'll have like 2% health left and that shit pisses me off. So uh, I like to run it with the magnum ammo because then you get the four shot kill up close and four shot kill at range. So running magnum ammo on this only allows it a uh, four shot kill at long range. It'll still be a four shot kill at close range with or without magnum ammo. So that's something to keep in mind. And um, it's also a real good setup if you wanted to run um, the higher explosive damage with extra C4. And uh, uh, there's a trick. Maybe I'll post a video on how to do it to um, Destruction 2.0 buildings, which is four sticks of C4. You just place them in certain places. Uh, you need to have extra explosive damage, though, in order for it to work with uh, four C4. And uh, you could blow up buildings in one shot. And that's also how you get the destruction 2.0 kill like achievement if you want to get that and um yeah i got that achievement recently actually i never went for it or anything kind of just got it as it happened <laughs> i'm missing a lot of achievements in this game and uh i remember one time i actually got a message by someone on xbox kind of talking shit they're all how can you be so good at this game and have all the achievements well pretty easily actually because I, I could give a shit about achievements and uh you know, that's just how it is, like in, uh, like COD 4, I got, I'm only missing one achievement, and it's to find, like, I don't know, laptops or some shit, like, I have the Mile High Club achievement, which is fucking really easy, I don't know why people struggle with that, but, whatever, I don't know why I'm talking about that <laughs> anyways, but, uh, kind of out there right now, but, uh, get that guy right there, but, uh, yeah, the VSS, real, real good gun, uh, I, haven't, I don't really use it too much anymore. I platinum this thing like, so long ago. It was one of my first weapons. I actually did platinum. And, uh, you know, it just takes a little bit of while to get used to. You just got to train your f your finger to only let off two round bursts. You, you do that, and you're, you're doing really, really good. I'll tell you that right now. And uh, I also like running it with the, just the default sniper scope. It's really good with like the ACOG and the uh, red dot and stuff, but I just kind of feel like it's too it's too cheap using that shit. So I tend to stay away from stuff like that, as you guys could probably tell. Like I I don't really run the cheap setups too much because I don't know. 
I like to challenge myself. And also when I find myself using the cheap setups, I, I don't do very good. And it's always been like that. Like in uh, Modern Warfare 2, it's I'll pull out One Man Army Noob 2. It's, I would always do terrible using that. And, uh, <coughs> ooh, excuse me. And uh, yesterday when we were playing, we were fucking around and doing uh, Carl only. And uh, I never did good. I didn't do good any games. Like, any of the games we did, we were just shooting Carl's. Like, everyone in my squad, we were all using Carl. We did it for, like, two games. Just using stupid setups. We were all really bored. And, uh, I'm actually surprised I didn't get any hate mail <laughs> yesterday for doing that shit. But I guess the other team didn't really trip off of it. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, Carl Winslow is not too much of a problem on on the consoles. But from what I understand, like, they call on PC, they call it the PC sniper rifle, which, uh, uh, that that got to get annoying when everybody just uses Carl, but uh, <laughs> you know that's how it goes. Try to stay away from it though. I like my my RPGs and my AT4. I love me the AT4 though. That shit's just a blast. I'm still trying to get good with it though. That shit's a super challenge to get good at. And that one guy, I, for, I forget his name. Um, he makes really good uh, montages with the AT4 and uh, just kind of showing you what you could do with it. And, uh, you know, it's cool. I actually got a real cool one <laughs> yesterday. I might even put that at the end of this video. I got a real cool AT4. I zigzagged it all over the place, and I <laughs> ended up getting the guy. And my buddy saw it. He was tripping out about it. It was pretty funny. Might put that in the end. I don't know. If I could find it, I might have deleted it. Because <laughs> I got pissed off yesterday from yesterday's session. And, uh, I don't know. I, I felt like I was playing against this guy. He was, like, hacking or some shit because... No one in my squad could kill him, and he was one-shot headshotting me with uh, the SVU from across the map, and, like, he one-shot and headshotted my friend with the M9 across the map, like, three fucking times. No one in our squad could kill him. Remember, at one point, I spawned off my friend who's just straight dumping at him. I shot him point-blank range with the fucking Carl, and, uh, he still didn't die, which is, uh, I don't know what was going on there. He was either hacking, or he had some really shitty connection because uh, I notice sometimes when I play people with shitty connection in this game they just straight own me They're usually from like some Australia though or Japan because the servers are so goddamn far away and, and whatnot but anyways guys that's game tried to get you guys a better VSS game but it didn't happen and uh, this game I went 22 and 5 nothing special but anyways guys peace have a good one